You guys, I am so excited to talk to you about Math with Confidence Level 4. This is the math curriculum I'm going to be using with my youngest son this year. This is our fifth year using the Math with Confidence Elementary Homeschool Math Curriculum from Kate Snow. We could not love it anymore, so let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Amy Sloan. I'm a second generation homeschooling mom of five, including a homeschool graduate. Uh, my oldest is 19 and my youngest is nine. So I have used a wide range of homeschool math curriculum over the years, depending on the needs of my children and our family schedule. But I will say, I think my very favorite elementary math curriculum I've used has been Math with Confidence by Kate Snow. You have probably seen these online, and if you've wondered if they're a good fit for your homeschool family, I'm gonna do a quick flip through, talk about some of the highlights today. I also have a really extensive uh, review and blog post for Math with Confidence Kindergarten, and I'll make sure to put that in the description along with some other helpful links. Uh, links. But let's just talk a little bit about Math with Confidence 4. Now, my son, I know I've heard a lot of kids love this, that the cover always has an illustration that relates to the level number, so that's just a little fun tidbit. One of the things I love about Math with Confidence is that it is completely open and go for the parent. If you are comfortable with math already like I am, it just makes it super easy. But what I especially think it will be helpful for is that parent who feels really uncomfortable at the thought of teaching math. You're just not really sure. You don't feel like you know a lot about math. You wanna make sure you teach your children well and lay a solid math foundation, but it just feels really scary. Well, this is the instructor guide for you. When you open up the lesson, you can see that before you even get started, it'll tell you the important things that you're gonna be focusing on for each lesson. It gives you a script for every step of the way, things you will say to your child, as well as kind of teacher notes to help you understand what's going on. When there are activities and games, it's clearly laid out for you, really easy to follow. And then of course, just like any math curriculum, there's the answers um, and solutions to the math problems. But one of the things I also really love is what comes at the beginning and end of each unit. So each unit has a particular theme. For instance, unit two is about place, value, and large numbers. And before you even start talking to your kids, whoa, that got blurry. Excuse me, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep going. So um, it is going to tell you what your child will learn well, first an overview of the topic, what your child will learn, and then the list of the lessons, any supplies you need, all of those good things. And then at the end of your lesson, you're going to have a unit checkpoint. And that's to make sure your child understands all that they need to understand before moving on. This will help you know if you need to slow down and do some review, or if you're ready to move on to the next unit. So it's just a really great useful tool for parents. Now, uh, the kindergarten book comes just with an instructor guide and a student guide, but as you get into the level three and level four, you have um, these really great student guides. It's been divided into part A and part B, and I like this because the book is thinner. It's not as overwhelming for a child. That's really um, important, I think. Um, each lesson comes with activities that you will do with your child to reinforce um, and that's part of the lesson itself. You're going to have practice for the new topic that was introduced and then there is review where you're going to spiral review. So this brings up another point a lot of people ask is math with confidence mastery based or spiral based? And what I love is it kind of combines the best of both. Every single lesson, you're going to have the opportunity to really deep dive the new concept, really focus on that new topic to make sure your child understands it. 
but also every day there is a spiral review, which brings in things you've learned in past lessons. So you never get rusty or forget what was going on. You're going to have end of unit reviews. There's plenty of review built into the entire curriculum. And because you're always doing hands-on games and activities, um, you're going to get that additional opportunity to review throughout, uh, throughout the curriculum. One of the things I do love about Math with Confidence is not just the hands-on games and activities that make the learning more fun, but also help the learning stick in these early years, but I also love that it really teaches children the whys behind math. They're going to develop a deep mathematical understanding as well as competence in the facts. So a lot of times, Things are set up as some sort of conflict between factual regurgitation and not like understanding why math works. And I think math with confidence really does both. So there's a big emphasis on knowing the facts and being able to uh, have the facts just like those those facts just coming back out. You know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Quick, swift, confident recall is an important part of the, the process and what you learn in the curriculum, each grade building upon itself. But you're also going to be learning the mathematical whys and understanding what you're actually doing with the math. You have manipulatives and the games and the activities. And all the way through, you're also using word problems. So there's combinations of word problems, understanding math as a language, more traditional just worksheet type work. I really feel like Math with Confidence takes all the best parts of math curriculums you may have seen and kind of has them all in one place. So if you're wondering if Math with Confidence would be a good fit for you, it would be a good fit if you're willing as the teacher to invest that one-on-one -on -one teaching time with your child. This is not something that you can just show a video, hand your kid a worksheet, and walk away. This requires daily investment from the parent. I would say um, when in like kindergarten, because you're having to read everything, definitely like 15 to 20 minutes, maybe around the same or a little more or a little less, depending on your child. For the other grades, um, you're kind of beginning to transition with the later levels of some part with parents and some part independent. Um, but again, that will depend on you and your child and your family. It's really good both for children who can move more swiftly with math. My son loves math. We've been known to combine lessons or even skip a few in order to make the math curriculum work for us. It's also really good for a child who maybe struggles with math because you can move as slowly as you want with those unit checkpoints. You know exactly when it's the right time to move on. There's plenty of games that you can bring out to reinforce the lessons you've been learning. Um, and they're really simple games that are generally like you need beans or raisins, real simple manipulatives and um, pages from the workbook themselves. So it is great, I think, whether you have an advanced math learner or a struggling math learner, it can meet you where you are if you're willing to do a little work as the teacher. It lays a solid math foundation. Again, if you lo are looking for that, which I think is really important in the elementary years, if you're into hands-on learning or game schooling, this will fit. I actually think math with confidence can really fit any approach any homeschool philosophy I think it will be able to fit in well especially as you the teacher implement it in the way that fits your family your educational philosophy and your unique child so this was really quick and um, just a, a brief little flip through of the book um, again I'll just show you a few more pages just because they're fun and colorful um, and I will also mention that they're really good quality books. We have never had any issues with the books coming apart or ripping or tearing out and when we didn't want them to. So I really appreciate that. Um, let's see if I've forgotten anything else. Oh, there's picture book recommendations. Just all sorts of goodies. Good, good stuff in here. So I am going to put a link in the video description 
to where you can go directly to Kate Snow's website where she will help you learn how to pick the best level for your student. I will link as well to that review I mentioned where I go into a lot more detail about Math with Confidence Kindergarten in particular. And oh, I also interviewed the author. She was one of my very first interviews on the Homeschool Conversations with Humility and Doxology podcast. So that one is great. No matter what math curriculum you use, you will not want to miss my chat with Kate Snow. I will put that link in the description. And if you want links to this and all of my favorite homeschool curriculum, you can go to humilityanddoxology.com slash favorites. While you're here, would you take a moment to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos? I am trying to break out of just my blog and podcast and do a little bit more here on YouTube this year, but it would be an encouragement to me if you let me know that you want to be here, what kind of content you would like to hear from me, if you would like more personal stories. I've never really done that, but I've been thinking about doing that this year, but I only wanna do that if that's something that would be of interest to you. So let me know below and be patient with me as I figure out all this YouTube-y stuff.